Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Entebbe Airport, part five. The story. The story about Bettina. You see, I've jumped. I've jumped from 1998 to 2000 January. I've jumped. So if you notice that uh, there's a gap in between, but you're going to come back to that. That you know, the story still continues. I said that the story will continue. You're going to go with this story as it is, so that uh, you know there are people who have taken sides. They are saying, "I'm treating Bettina very badly." Ah, uh, Bettina should leave. Bettina, you know, whatever. She's at campus in 98, graduating in October. October. However, let's go back to Entebbe now. Entebbe, what's happening? I am leaving to go to London to do shopping. That is one of the main reasons I come to London. There was no reason for me to come to you, to UK at that time. Because I was running a lot of businesses, you know, I was hands full. My business empire was was big. I was big. Show money, ten thousand dollars. You know, things like that. So, in terms of cash flow, not is sorted. However, as the story is going now, because we've introduced uh, the immigration officer, the beautiful immigration officer. She was beautiful. She was beautiful, and uh, when I'm checking in at the airport, remember, she's checked my passport, she's cleared me to go to check in, to present my, my visas and everything. You know, back then things were a bit civil, no, 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 this, this and that, you just walked into the building, up to the desk where you were supposed to either Sabena or KLM or uh, Kenya, depending on which airline was, uh, you know, taking off at that time. So the pleasantries we exchange, you know, when things are meant to happen, sweet things. So as I said yesterday that I was having my coffee in the cafeteria, Crested Crane Restaurant, I don't know whether it's still there, Guys, correct me. Crested Crane Restaurant, I think it was on the ground floor, duty-free area, I'm not sure either. At the time, the duty-free area wasn't there, remember. There were just a couple of shops within and about. It wasn't what it is today. Uh-huh. To get a So while I'm there, she, she walks across, and then, you know, we are having a chat. I suggest to her to show me around my way at the airport. This is how things begin. And then she was, of course, okay, because the, the airport is not busy at the time. It wasn't, there was hardly anything. There was hardly anything to do. So she takes me around, blah, 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 blah. So by the time I'm boarding to walk down on the, on the tarmac, up to the plane, yeah. She's going to hand me on to the Kenya to KQ. KQ flight is taking off at 6.45 in the morning. She was going to hand me over to the air hostesses, you know, who are busy up and down, moving up the plane down. So we take some pictures and everything. So if you follow the story from the preamble, we have... The romance on flight KQ went to the Kenya Airways. So whatever happened on the flight was another story. Whatever happened at the airport is another story. But uh, I'm in good hands, you know what I mean? So the time is like, what do you do next? So we, we are going to get the story building on those, on that level now. That's where we are. So. Shaila, the consultant doctor, she's coming back. Bettina, she's coming back. 
So those who are not familiar with Shaila, she's the consultant doctor at the hospital, Mulago, an ex-girlfriend, an, an ex-lover. She, uh, she was there before Bettina, because remember Bettina, we meet her at the Steers restaurant. So she comes in a foray, and then she's like the central character in the story. So at the airport now we are introducing uh, the immigration officer, the beautiful. I'm not, I haven't come up with a name anyway, so I don't think we need to put a name for that. Let's label her the immigration officer, Shaila the consultant doctor, and then Bettina, the sweet one. That, that, that's the one everybody warmed up to, of course, yeah. So like, the drama is around the airport now. The drama is around the airport. As I leave, the waving bay up, Bettina sees everything. Because the waving bay, is, it was, you could, do you know how the airport is? You could literally see what is on the tarmac, you know, like, but whatever was happening on the tarmac now is the center of the story. So you have the immigration officer walking hand in hand with me. We are holding hands. We embrace, we hug, you know what I mean? So then the, our air hostess were Kenya Airways. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice, beautiful people. And then, alafu tulianza kongea kishwaili. You know, you know, maneno hivo, sasa we natembea maramoja, you know. This is what I do. So, wait, let's go back to the airport. You're going to focus around the airport. And Tabe. Uh, and get the story. The story is tight. It's not a small story here we are talking about. So, but the drama is when I return. Eh? The return to. If you read from the equator with love and return, return to the equator. Hello. Ah, I see. Hi, my friend. Where's your friend? Today is she not coming? Oh, okay. Then have a nice weekend. Eh? All right, then. Nice. So, return to the equator. So we shall borrow a lot of, lot of plot lines around. So, but uh, Bettina, Bettina, she's already responsible for the site, the billionaire mansion. You know what I mean? So she's, she's, she, this is 2000. She's working um, in my businesses, and then we are building the house, the billionaire mansion house. So everything is coming together. It's a very complicated story, full of twists and turns, remember. But as long as you, you, you focus on the character, so we are saying love at every level, at every level. These are the things, you know, in normal things, we we had our war. It's a, it's a hustle and bustle situation. So, let's continue next week and uh, Monday. We shall continue from there at the airport, right? So, you guys have a good weekend, and uh, it's been a very tough one. Sorry, sorry. sorry. It's been a very tough week writing all this because I had to really dig into. The whole of uh, the storyline. So I'm out. I'm out. Here you go. Love you.